G'day, welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be finishing the bodywork on this Temia Fighter Buggy RX Memorial. So I'll have a quick look at it first. Yeah, there it is. Came up pretty well I think. Not perfect. I had a little bit of lint in the roof there. Had to sand it out later and uh, yeah, left a little spot. Ah well, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to get a lot more spots on it when I drive it. Anyway, that's him. Pretty cool, I reckon. Nice and flashy. Alrighty, let's get into the video. So, we'll start with the driver. Let's get into it. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, sanding his helmet up, getting him ready for primer. And I'm fixing up the seam where the two halves of the head meet. After I screwed it together, I glued it with this Tamiya cement. Well, actually, I put the glue on before I put it together. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, just getting it nice and uh, smoothed up, ready for the uh, primer. Yeah, and there it is. So I threw a bit of primer in it. I just used a bit of Tamiya Grey primer and some red paint. And there it is, like a shiny red lollipop. So I painted his face and body and put his helmet on and he's ready to go. Straight after that I painted the intercooler. I used a bit of uh, flat aluminium for this and for the little rivet thingies at the bottom I used some uh, Maloto chrome I think it is. Alrighty then it was time to get onto the roof and there's a little sprue at the back of the roof. I've sanded it out here. Uh, I just thought I'd sand it out get it nice and smooth before I paint. I did have an idea of polishing the body but I didn't bother I'm just going to paint it. But uh, yeah, wanted to make sure that sp sprue area was nice and smooth. So I've sanded it up, ready for primer. Now to hold my body, I just used a piece of 3mm threaded rod and put it up in the screw hole in the back there. Now I can hold the body while I paint it. It might help for drying the body too. <laughs> so there's our grey primer, ready to go on. And then we're going to be using the Tamiya TS14 Black. So, time to get out in the shed, and we can't forget our protection. Alrighty, so there's our first kind of light coat of primer. Closely followed by the second coat. Now, I only did two coats on this, doesn't need a lot. Especially because I'm not doing any real body work on it. Anyway, so I went wet on wet, and banged the uh, black on straight away. So it looks kind of heavy there, but it's really a thin coat. Yeah, and straight into the second coat, went a little bit heavier with this one. So I'm leaving about five minutes between coats, you know, not too long. Looks all right, I think. Pretty shiny. I wish it stayed that way. <laughs> and I put a bit under the bottom, of course, you know, and cover up the primer that sprayed through the windows and stuff. And onto the third coat. So looking pretty good there. There's a tiny bit of lint right there. Very annoying. <laughs> Actually got a few bits of lint in it. So that's how it's looking outside. Pretty shiny. It will dull off a lot though. The uh, Atamia paint seems to do that. Anyway, so I took it inside, put it up in the vise, which is another good thing with that 3mm rod, just straight in the vise and you got a drying rack. <laughs> so yeah, it looks pretty good. Apart from that piece of lint in the roof and there's a couple on the sides. Now here you can see just how much the Tamiya paint dulls off. So yeah, even if you put it on pretty heavy, it still dulls off a lot. So yeah, I've got to polish it. I can get that lint out of the roof then. <laughs> now because I've got to sand it first, and I want it done all in one day, I had to put it in the oven. <laughs> so I put it in the oven on 60 degrees Celsius for about an hour. Now using 2000 grit sandpaper, gave it a wet rub all over. After that I gave it a quick wash in some soapy water. And then use the Dremel with the, uh, the wall pad on it and a bit of automotive polish. And there you go, it's getting shiny. G'day! <laughs> so that's it all done. Looking pretty good I think. Now I'll go off and trim the stickers up and uh, apply them. 
fit the driver and the uh, oil cooler, fit the body on the car, and we can call it done. Now these stickers are all right pain in the butt for me. Couldn't focus on them, they reflect everywhere. So this is kind of the experience you get. Anyway, I'll bang the stickers on and we can call it done. So that's it all done. Pretty happy with it. Yeah, looks good to me. So I've got the uh, Tamiya Sport Tune motor in there. I'll be running it on 2S LiPo, so that should be fun. Um, yeah, so that's about it for this video. I'll leave you with a little montage. And uh, yeah, you can check it out up close. Yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumb up. That'd be great. If you're new here, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Catch you later.